Hi everyone, this is JJ Walsh and another podcast for Seek Sustainable Japan. This time about the A Bomb Survivor Group, Nihon Hidankyo, which won the 2024 Nobel Peace Prize. The Nobel Peace Prize this year was awarded to an anti nuclear group of Hiroshima and Nagasaki Hibaksha A Bomb Survivors called Nihon Hidankyo. A grassroots organization who have been working to promote peace and promoting nuclear weapons bans and non proliferation. Nihon Hidankyo was established in 1956 to protest the Bikini Atoll hydrogen nuclear bomb testing. The Bikini Atoll is a tropical island chain in the Marshall Islands that was bombed 67 times between 1946 to 1958. The testing was 7,000 times the force of the Hiroshima bomb and had a devastating effect on the natural environment and people in the area. It is now designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. According to the Japan Times newspaper, Nihon Hidankyo senior member Toshiyuki Mimaki said he had to pinch his cheeks to make sure the news of their award was true. The Nobel,、uh, Norwegian Nobel Committee said in its citation the group was receiving the Peace Prize for its efforts to achieve a world free of nuclear weapons and for demonstrating that witness testimony that nuclear weapons must never be used again. The Hibaksha help us describe the indescribable, to think the unthinkable, and to somehow grasp the incomprehensible pain. And suffering caused by nuclear weapons. That was according to the Nobel Peace Prize Committee via Reuters. As a tour guide in Hiroshima, one of the most common questions asked by visitors is how many people died in the Hiroshima attack. And I reference the official list of 344,306 names of those who died who were in the two kilometer blast radius. On August 6, 1945. The names of Japanese, Koreans, Chinese, as well as American victims of the A bomb are all written on the thousands of books kept in the vault below the Cenotaph Arch. We take in this powerful number of overwhelming loss and look through the beautiful Cenotaph Arch, taking in the view of the reflection pool below and the peace flame with the ruins of the A bomb dome. In the distance, the peace flame comes from an ancient flame on the sacred island of Miyajima, which was lit by Kukai, an、uh, important Buddhist monk, and kept going night and day by his devoted monks for 1,200 years. When I tell visitors that the design of the peace flame, they want to turn the flame off if there is no more war. Most visitors will then shake their heads. It's a chance to have a discussion of whether or not we feel hope for a future without war. I then describe the ceremony each year, held on August 6, in front of the cenotaph, and how the testimony of the survivors is powerful, but it is when the elementary school kids tell the audience about their future vision of peace. That there is not a dry eye among us. The kids still believe peace is achievable in this world, and most of us have lost hope. Many visitors also ask how many Hibaksha survivors are still alive today. According to Reuters, there are 106,825 atomic bomb survivors registered in Japan. As of March this year, data comes from the country's health ministry、uh, with an average age of 85.6 years. Now, 2025 will mark the 80th anniversary of the nuclear attacks on the people of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a pivotal year as many survivors are now older than 85, and telling their testimony firsthand is getting more and more difficult. It is amazing to see Hibaksha survivors still so active to campaign, rally, and continue to tell their stories, even though it still must be so painful to do so.
In the Japan Times, Prime Minister Ishida has a practical approach to a UN nuclear ban treaty, saying he will consider an observer role. Ishida is concerned about giving up nuclear weapons completely as peaceful nations when countries like North Korea and Russia are so actively increasing their nuclear arsenals. The Nobel Peace Prize Committee said there is a reason for choosing Nihon Hidankyo this year due to the threat of nuclear war seeming imminent and the taboo of using nuclear weapons, which seems to be eroding. According to Reuters, we see it as a very alarming that the nuclear taboo is being reduced by threatening, but also how the situation in the world where the nuclear powers are modernizing and upgrading their arsenals. In 2017, the anti-nuclear group ICANN, International Campaign to Abolish Nuclear Weapons, received the Nobel Peace Prize. The previous Japanese recipient to win the Nobel Peace Prize was 50 years ago when the Prime Minister of Japan, Eisako Sato, was given the award for signing the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty of 1970. It's wonderful to see Nihon Hidankyo win this prestigious Nobel Peace Prize this year, and I hope it helps raise awareness of the devastating effects of using nuclear weapons on people and planet. Nuclear weapons are not like any other weapon. They leave deep scars physically and emotionally. There are also horrible effects on the natural environment, which we do not clearly understand. It is hard to imagine a world without nuclear weapons in war, but groups like Nihon Hidankyo help us see a better way forward while remembering the devastating effects of nuclear weapons on people, planet, and even profits. <laughs>